Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And I'm sad to say this might be his last day, but... Oh, I think I hate, it's time to go home. I'm always sad when this I hate happens. to watch him go, but I love to watch him leave. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's me, Mr. X. <laughs> Mr. X. You're damn right. Let's crack right, into guys. another one. So, yeah. all right. We've all started a new job. And, you know, you, whenever you start a new job, you want to go in and, like, make a good impression the first day. Sure. Like, you don't want to go in and, like, set your lunch on fire and be, like, the lunch guy or, like. Or, or like, put fish in the microwave. Yeah, or whatever, right? So, um, have either of you ever had, like, a first day or seen someone come in on their first day and do something, like, bad where they've, like, got a nickname or, like, they really effed up on the first day of work? Have you ever seen or have you personally had a bad day? Nothing I can think of off the top. Um, no. I mean, you definitely find those people who you're not going to gel with. Sometimes they, <laughs> uh, they make themselves known. But it's hard to make those types of assumptions about somebody on their very first day. You know? I, right. I had one, like, kind of okay. bad day. Right. Like, start, because, based because I didn't, I didn't realize what time they wanted me there. <laughs> you were late on like, your first day. Yeah, like, I thought they wanted me there at, like, 9 30 or 10 or something because they wanted me to come later on my first day and then i got a call they're like uh are you starting today i was like yeah wasn't i supposed to be there like no you're supposed to be here at eight o'clock so i was like an hour and a half or two hours oh late my on my God. first did day did you get fired no 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 they were cool about it i, mean, I explained yeah. it. it was like i really thought y'all didn't want me to come in until later in the morning just you were know, you whatever. like the late guy did they call you like late I don't I don't I don't remember who who even remembered, but yeah, no, that that's probably the only thing I ever screwed up on a first day that I yeah, can remember. I uh the only job that I had that I didn't like that I only worked one day was uh I was god, I was probably like twenty. And I got a job at a call center for the Fraternal Order of Police calling and asking people to donate, donate for the that. FOP. Yep. And uh it was it was like one of those like have you it's like one of those like back alley call centers where oh, there's just God. like rows of like the weird rows of uh of um computers and like there was like one boss there and he wanted you to follow the script. Don't go off script. Read the script. The script works. Like have you ever seen the office? Like yeah, Michael Scott I, has yeah. a has a second job. It is it was that. A windowless room. Everyone's going out to smoke like every so often. It was so weird. I, actually the guy really loved me because, like, I ended up getting, like, a $100 donation my first day. And he was, like, he pulled me aside and was, like, nobody ever gets a $100 donation on their first day. He's, like, you're doing really good out there. And I'm, like, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Never went back. Like, <laughs> but it wasn't a bad experience. It was just weird. I was, like, uh, I don't even know if I got paid because I was just, like, I'm good. I don't even want to go back there. So, anyways, the reason I bring that up, I found a story about a man I think has had – the worst first day of anyone ever in existence. Oh. So there's this man. His name was John O'Neill. He's 33 years old. He uh, he was trying to like get back on his feet. He was like a recovering addict. He had gotten trouble with the law. He had he had like an ankle monitor on, you know. But he found a job with a with a landscaping company, and his job was to uh, put the branches into the wood chipper. Sounds pretty easy. Cut and dry. Yes. Branches, so, chipper, gotcha. So what this what man, could go wrong? So oh, this man, God, I heard about this. So this man, oh, 15 no. minutes into his first day, no. he feeds a branch in that had like what they're calling a fish hook branch. No. Okay. That then caught his ankle monitor and and <laughs> pull, started pulling him into the chipper. Oh, gosh. He started crying for help. But all of the other workers had on protective headgear, so it. none of them could hear his screams. Oh. It got him oh, – like, there's a picture of him. They amputated him, like, basically at his balls. Oh, my god. It goodness. sucked him into the chipper, both of his legs. Oh. I imagine he it didn't chip him all the way up, but probably the damage. Ah. That's where they amputated. Ah. Yeah. Ah. And he is, ah. he is blaming the ankle monitor. <laughs> that that it, if he wouldn't have had the ankle monitor on, but the poor. fish hook would not have caught his leg. Yep. And so he, I'm sure he's probably going to sue the government or the courts or Brother, whoever. How are you going to blame the ankle monitor? You messing around with a wood chipper. You got to be careful. Yeah. Well, well, full vigilance. Yeah, seriously. I, that just... That's a bad day. That's a bad day. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what to say, man. That's a bad day. I don't I, know if you could have a worse first day at a job. 
Yeah. I mean, no. maybe, maybe you die. What but, What do you do in that situation? I, you're, you're stumpy. I don't know. Well, like, who do you Who do you sue? Can you can sue? probably sue the company. Well, you're definitely gonna sue the company because they clearly didn't train you well enough to use a wood chipper. And, you yeah. Know, you know, I and, mean, and they're but they're probably a small company. They probably don't have the money to pay you. Hopefully, they got insurance. Yeah, I mean, but you'll it'll end Holy up it'll crap, bankrupt the man. company. You won't maybe you'll get some workman's comp. You're not getting the millions. Of no, you're not gonna you go. get rich off of this. Like, no. um, but you can sue maybe the manufacturer of the wood chipper. Somehow there isn't there wasn't a easily yeah, accessible there, stop valve or something, which there should have been. It's a bar across the top. I've seen these things. Right, exactly. Like you, but he probably um, did, but he's so new he probably didn't know about the bar. Right. Yeah, they're just like, hey, go shove those logs in. He's like, all right, guys, I got um, this. I got this. I mean, he's gonna Panic try to sue the the city yeah. about yeah, the he'll certainly price. sue the ankle that, he, that is gonna fail miserably. Uh, yeah. But uh, because it, it, I mean, I hate to say it, but it kind of feels like it was his mistake. <laughs> Oh I well, we don't hold people. We don't hold people loud. accountable for their mistakes, That's brother. When you say it's the ankle monitor's fault, oh no, it was your fault. <laughs> when you're blaming an ankle monitor, brother, come on. Yeah, come on. I mean, why are you shoving? I mean, like, here's the first you thing you I, had would, an ankle I would do monitor. is be like, if I'm jamming this thing in a wood chipper, mm. is there anything behind me that is going to try to pull me in with it? Because, like. Granted, it was only 15 minutes in, but Homeboy should have figured out that that it has a lead. It pulls things in. Like as you you put it in, it's like it pulls it the rest of the way. Complacency, man. He just got a little little lack of dates to go with the job, and that's that's really what happened. He got a little lack of dates to go. I mean, uh, let's be honest. The dude's wearing an ankle brace or bracelet, and he's feeding branches, and he's probably not. A smartest guy we've got working in the in the, in the work. You're saying right now. because he has a criminal record, he's not intelligent. I'm not saying he's not intelligent. I'm just saying he may not be the most most thought thoughtful person when working. You're you saying know? he has a history of making bad decisions. He that might have a history of making is, bad decisions. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could see that. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. Uh, that I will accept. Yeah, I think he's got a history of making bad decisions and probably not thinking things all the way through. Oh well, yeah. Okay. So impulsive. You know. Yeah. 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 Just like he's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna jam. I'm gonna, it I'm gonna in throw there. these branches like, and show uh, these people how I do things. Uh, and you're like, yeah. oh no, that's so that's true. Go the well. good criminals never get caught. <laughs> I mean, that's you, right. You Bad ones wrong. are the ones in jail, right? <laughs> so I don't know, but like, at least he doesn't have to work anymore. Well, it, okay. does he not? Because that's the thing. It's like he's not gonna get life changing money. I mean, he's gonna be on the go he's gonna be on the government from now on. Yeah, and that's not gonna make you like. Safe or rich? I didn't or say be rich. But he doesn't have to work because he's going to be disabled. Comfortable. Or they know. might say, "Well, you can still work an office job." Well, I mean, yeah, maybe this thing is like, okay, you're disabled, but if you don't have some sort of disability, which I'm guessing the 15 minute job at the landscaper didn't have a disability <laughs> right. included in the package. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You know, yeah, don't you have to work a certain amount of hours before you get benefits? Usually, it's, <laughs> it's 90 days before benefits kick in or whatever. Ooh. They're like, you don't get the first. Yeah, I mean, th there will be some sort of workers comp for him, but still, like, I don't know that it's going to be enough to him not be on the corner in a wheelchair with a sign. I like, mean, look, he, he got the greatest gift of all, and that is he gets to continue to live. Because... Uh, yeah. Well, they said like it like where they chopped him. Yeah. It was very close to his genitals. Uh, Woo. Like mm -mm. at least he still has his parts, brother. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, honestly, I feel you, but like now your your repertoire of women that you get to pick and choose it's, from, it's probably less. I'm it's guessing. a little more limited. Maybe they like a bad boy that has some scars. Yeah, <laughs> even if you're a nice guy or a bad boy. Yeah, yeah he's, maybe somebody's like into that or something. Uh, <laughs> I mean, somebody's into TNT's that. into weirder stuff than that. I don't. know. You're not wrong. I know I'm yeah. not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're I've not seen wrong. your ex hamster account. Hey, you know, listen, that was that was just the that front was private. page. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, but like I I don't want to have that kind of bad day. That's why I haven't changed no. jobs in like no. twenty years. No, or work construction for that matter. Yeah, you, you work in a dangerous job. Dangerous things can happen. That's exactly. They, they don't. That's why the pay's good, but I don't think grinding branches pays well. Yeah, some tell me that wasn't a high paying gig for them. No. You know. So, but I don't know. But anyways. Mr. X, we'll miss you. I know it's been good. It's been a good week. I've enjoyed, you know, the couch. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start asking for for a a blanket or something next time I come. Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, experience. wear out my welcome here. We'll yeah. see. We can upgrade you to the uh, presidential package. You get a blanket and a pillow, maybe. Hey. Oh, I thought it made you get. That's where you got to sleep in TNT's bed. You get eggshells <laughs> to eat in the morning. 
So you get you get the spoon with TNT every now. Oh, and that's a good package. That's the- so, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazynow.com and subscribe for Jonas, TNT, and Mister X. Uh, we're out.